If you consider uh, the establishment of you know this department and the faculty as the year 1951, this must be the 66th degree you know show, and uh, so much water has flown under the bridge, and uh, it is in a way a history of. the development of uh, contemporary you know indian art if you look around <coughs> and uh, assess the contemporary indian art scene it wouldn't be really surprising you know to see that uh, 50 to 60% of you know the artists who are practicing or who have contributed a great deal to the contemporary modern you know, indian art scene have you know emerged from this department so i can see that in a way you know this degree show forecast something which is about to happen that is also you know one reason i think why so many artists uh, so many connoisseurs of you know art so many art galleries people who deal with you know art descend upon you know this place to actually get a feel of what is perhaps going to be the art of you know the next generation all i can do now is to actually wish a great future for the students who are you know graduating you know, from you know the department from the painting department as well as you know from other departments now in sculpture the students are not only doing the sculpture but there are so many other things that are coming into it like there is the multimedia video and everything the installation and this whole effect giving the fine arts display a unique strength a unique quality and even our students when they go out they're performing wonderfully if you talk about the theory and uh, um, you know the dissertation and the uh, and the engagement students are in uh half i mean it 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 actually has it it varies obviously it also has uh, make much more meaning each time when you when i when i come and visit this place 
and I'm extremely happy uh, in being part of this uh, process of jury and uh, I, 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 I kind of uh, congratulate, congratulate all the students those who are part of it and also hoping I mean wishing them all good luck for their future in, in different spaces wherever they are. The students are actually prepared for going into the outside world because this is where they are going to display their work as how they would be presenting themselves in the future. This year the students have been, done a really good job and there is a lot of work which is on display over the last two decades being one of the most important academic activities and it is not just an academic activity, it is also an art activity which everybody who is interested in the future of our um, arts and what the youngsters are doing uh, very keenly await this day and we are happy that we have a, another fresh crop of students who are prepared to launch into their careers and we wish them success. I am happy to report that the jury members who are all practicing artists themselves have been quite happy with the outcome. So this is an opportunity for the faculty to wish all the budding artists who are showing in this year's display a very, very, very um, best wishes. And I hope that many of them will carry forward the idea that as an art teaching institution, we are alive, thriving and responding to the needs and requirements of the time. Thank you. This is my sixth year of being an examiner. Uh, so, I don't know, I think I feel uh, I feel good, really privileged to be an external examiner to an institute I have been a student in. I think uh, younger artists have become far more experimental and the field is open for so much more uh, that uh, it's really possible to explore and go really deeply into a subject you are engaged and fascinated about to find your own personal language. Uh, I feel that's the biggest quest in being in an art school. I think it's been a great experience just uh, talking to young artists, getting to know what they are thinking about, what engages them, to read their dissertation to see what engages them in terms of the subject and the, uh, uh, and the field of uh, works which which, which is happening in, in India as well as internationally. So it's been, it's been a wonderful experience. Technically, uh, the criteria is to give uh, markings, but um, the contribution that we feel that we can give to students is when we give a, mo a greater feedback to the, with their work, when we talk, about, talk to them about their work or their vivas and their dissertation. Also, I think um, the way uh, the students have been handling and looking at material, uh, especially this year, uh, as we've seen and even in the previous years, uh, the experimenting quality with me material has uh, taken a new turn. Specifically in the use of the material, the choice of material use and the way they're using it symbolically in their work now, there is a change in that compared to the earlier use of a, a traditional reference of material. So that uh, is, is uh, one good change that we see in the past uh, two, three years in the sculpture department. I've been participating in the jury since last three years and this is my third year. And uh, it's been a very challenging, exciting, um, very, in some ways also, uh, extremely intense time every time in the jury there's a lot of uh, conversations about processes of practice outcome of practice things that are going beyond institutional spaces sometimes or critical input about how institutional spaces are not getting challenged or getting challenged so 
it has it's generally a very intense time when i'm here in, in the faculty after um every year in a way after every year i look forward to the display every year in a way you know like it's a time when one is sharing um holding these conversations which have certain intensities which is somewhat depleting in other institutions some kind of a engagement with practice and language of practice what is practice for what is art for in that sense these questions are constantly being posed to the students as well as are being posed against us as former students or faculty or jury or whatever so things have also changed in the university here in the department since i studied here a lot of lot of changes have taken shape so it's also uh, a moment of reflection for me every time i come here it like generates some kind of a reflective stance towards um towards the changes outside the university that are affecting the university and you feel a sense of responsibility in some ways towards what this institution carries as legacy as history and how can we generate some kind of a dialogue with that by engaging within the field and not outside uh, this exhibition is display is not just an display of artworks done during the fourth year or a final year of ba or ma uh i look at as a uh, festival of art because whatever they unhone jo bhi 4 saal mein kiya jo 4 saal whatever they learned during their four years and what they understand about the art and what they understand about understand about their own self so they are going to uh, present that works and they are displaying that works in this uh, display so uh, according to me it is a important ki we uh, to see this uh, exhibition this display we kaise unhone apne aap ko explore kiya 4 saal aur kya unhone paya every year students ka jo kaam hai progress day by day progress hota hi rehta hai faculty of fine arts ka jo ek uh, aap comparison karenge to kahin se bhi to ek faculty of fine arts ke students ka bahut acha डिस्प्ले और काम होता है तो यहाँ अलग अलग मीडियम में काम किया जाता है सब स्टूडेंट्स का काफ़ी आप देखेंगे तो वेरिएशन मिलेगा लॉट ऑफ अलग अलग सब्जेक्ट के ऊपर इफ यू हैव टू से वेरी पर्टिकुलरली तो एवरीबडी चेंजेस इन डू वेरी पॉजिटिव वे एंड या आई मीन इट इज़ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज टू सी हाउ the student have changed from year to year and uh finally they have to put up the show which would reveal what they have gone through and what is their output is so in that way display is very important and when we see that the kind of outcome and as i said it is a pride and also hoping you know how they would really deal with the professional world I think during the study here I think they have been going through that whole process of how to become a, a very uh, refined artist I think in that sense uh, uh, you know display uh, shows that kind of a fineness uh, you know in terms of how their concerns and intentions come out I am more always tempted to judge it like an annual submission and see what is the kind of uh, practice and what is the kind of material explorations uh, conceptual explorations happening in the faculty from that point of view i would say that the display has not really changed over the last many years so in terms of change in how uh, how as a reflection of how contemporary art and how changing ways of looking at art is happening that is that i find missing from uh, the display but what is good about the display is the fantastic energy i think it's a unique display in the country where the energy that comes together to make it possible it's entirely the, such a huge setup is done in in one week's time and uh, almost like from the kind of because they it's it's students work right so it's like the kind of material support the kind of budgets and all are also very low and uh, some students are refreshingly very ambitious uh in terms of thinking that they can execute a project of of a particular kind of a particular scale and then attempting the best to do it so 
from that point of view, the faculty display is always precious. It's always interesting to come back to an institution like Baroda, which in itself becomes like a little large scale confluence of diverse practices, thoughts. It almost details the temperament of a certain time, of a certain batch and opens up a whole new survey. I think, I think the annual displays are more like points of arrival, where you really enter a space of discourse that is largely led by, if one may say so, the conflicts in thoughts, in temperaments, in conversations, in concepts between the various departments that coexist at one single space. All these strands sort of loosely tie in and at the same time do not tie in, but, but bring together a space of, of debate to be able to also understand what it means to be contemporary in India right now. At a point where I think our graduates enter, enter open spaces of discussion, enter open spaces of discourse by the thousands each year, it's extremely interesting to be able to come here to be able to come to any degree show for that matter. To me, it's a space that allows you the opportunity to learn so much about what it means to be emergent in this country at this point of time.